You want to see me? Yes. I need to ask you for a favor. What? Ron Swanson asking for help? Keep your voice down, woman. Part of the Unity concert is a youth review about the history of Pawnee. They require volunteers, so I want you to come with me to my daughter's public elementary school to help make costumes. The elementary school. I'll do you this solid, but you're gonna have to keep an eye out for my ex-boyfriend, Joe. He teaches music at that school and he is a nightmare. He's my Tammy. You're Tammy. Donna, my two ex-wives are the worst people in the world. Tammy, too, once seduced a coroner and had me declared legally dead just so she could get a discount on a plane ticket. When I'm with Joe, he turns me into a person I don't like or recognize. I go insane. All I'm asking is for you to keep him away from me. I understand this problem well and agree to this exchange of services. What are you doing? I'm getting a picture of you volunteering at a public elementary school in case I ever need to blackmail you. Uh, that's Joe, 12 o'clock. Donna, how are you? It's, it's really nice to see you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for helping out. These kids are so lucky to have your fashion expertise. Hello, Joe. My name is Ron Swanson. I am Donna's work proximity associate. Oh my gosh, Donna has told me so much about you. It's nice to put a, a face to the name. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> I got to get back to my classroom. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ron. And if either of you guys need anything at all today, please do not hesitate to ask, OK? I'm on to you, friend. Huh? Tread lightly. OK. Okay. Oh, Girls, yeah, Ron's got that. sharp tools oh, now. Ron. Ladies, eyes are watching, ears are listening, lips are closed, hands are still. See, they're very quiet. quiet. You, you should really try, try it. it. Listen well, listen well. That was well played. Children their age respond positively to melody and rhyme. They are great girls. You must feel very lucky to be their stepdad. I do. Indeed. If you'll excuse me, Joe, I have to finish hogging out the cheeks on these lap joints. Oh, maybe, maybe you could use this, uh, this jig I made. It's just a hardwood clamping block connected to a small piece of hackberry. You could use it to locate your cuts for the inside shoulder with without, without having, having to, to reset, reset the, the fence. fence. Exactly. <laughs> Muffin? I honestly don't care, but I'm just going to say it. I like Joe. He's a nice man who's good with kids, and he seems to be smart and patient. I know. That's why he's my Tammy. I'm a social butterfly. When we're together, all we do is have sex, sit on the couch, eat homemade pasta, have sex again. Enough. He's constantly being respectful, wanting to spend time with me, trying to connect with me. It's a nightmare. I become boring. Live your life how you want, but don't confuse drama with happiness. I, I hope you don't mind, but I, I noticed that your right rear tire was a little flat, so I patched it and I inflated it for you, but you're still gonna wanna go to a garage. I like I to do things. Excuse me. Museums, opera, nightclubs. Sometimes I disappear for a day or two because I'm fly fishing or I'm at a Seattle Sounders game. I promise not to cheat on you if you promise not to try to pin me down too fast. I have no problem with that. You can take me to dinner Friday. I have only one request, that you wear that uh, red thing. I'll wear that red thing when you deserve to see me in that red thing. <clears throat> All right, gotta go make some muffins. Ron, it's King Sparkle of Cupcake Forest. Much obliged. <laughs> so I'm going to dinner with Joe next week. Glad to hear it. It's always nice to see someone actually change for the better. Yes, Joe seems like a good man, but at this point, I'm done talking about him. I was talking about you. Your family has made you a more patient and empathetic person. You take that back. Come on, Swanson. Did you think even two years ago you'd be playing matchmaker for me while wearing a glittery crown? Now you're a dad. You care a little itty bit about your friends. Your King Sparkle of Cupcake Forest. It suits you. In front of you are six different wedding cakes from the top restaurants in Pawnee. Sample each one and rank your two top favorites in the ballots provided. Oh, boy. They're all so good. 
We can't pick this too. Well, then you leave, Terry, and pay for the cake you already ate. I like the vanilla one with the lemon cream. That was a joke cake I got from the grocery store to weed out low quality pallets. Maybe it's because he's my fiance and I love him. But I kind of like the grocery store one too. There's actually one more cake you haven't tried yet. Donna has chosen me to be the butler of honor at her wedding. Now, granted, butler of honor is a term I made up, but it's not a job I take lightly. That's why I'm about to give her a surprise bigger than when LeBron went back to Miami. Oh my God, DJ Blunts. What is happening right now? I think you know what's happening. But, but for real though, what, what, what's happening? Treat yourself. Treat yourself 2017. Oh my God, is this for real? Oh, it's for real. Okay. And it's the biggest one yet. I, I still don't know what's happening, so what's happening? Treat yourself. Not an answer to my question. Oh my God, read the cake. Still unclear. Tell you what, what's happening? Treat yourself. It's the best day of the year. We're gonna have orchids in all the pews, right? Because orchids are Donna's favorite flowers and she's my favorite flower. <laughs> <laughs> We're real cute. Of course there are gonna be orchids. You think this is my first time working a side job as a wedding planner for a former coworker? No. I'm so sorry. I mostly have my rage problem under control, but planning is very stressful. Please avoid my trigger words. Flowers, schedule, vows, bride, groom, food, love, happy, church, event, Wedding and Craig. I am so sorry, Craig. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. April, walk with me. So I chose you as my maid of honor because you become one of my best friends and I love you like a sister. Ew. But also because you're tough. My family arrives tonight. I know. And they're all set with their welcome bags and I told your brother Lavandrius that he is not welcome. Good, but still, there's gonna be 28 meagles in one room, which means there's gonna be drama. I will handle everything. I actually care whether you're having a good time and are happy. It's weird. The Meagles are a cold-blooded crew of judgmental grudge holders. My cousin Winnie once forgot to use a coaster at my grandpa's house, and he wrote her out of his will. The last four Meagle family Pictionary tournaments ended at the hospital. Legally, no more than three Meagles are allowed on an international flight together. But they give great gifts. Gotta get that flatware. Hey guys, how's everything going? April, we couldn't be happier and you are an angel for asking. Yeah, it's surprisingly painless. No swiping, no passive aggressive comments, no drama at all. Here are all the troublemakers, boss. Thank you. Meagles, I am not screwing around, okay? Lauren, no more discussion of Mallorca. Mallorca is off limits. Brian and Gloria, stop making Horatio feel bad that your daughter went to Yale. No one gives a And Genuine? Yes. Get it together. I'm sorry, April. Kathy started this. You can't let this start. I don't care. She doesn't mean it. Don't cry, Genuine. It's okay. Thanks, Andy. Easy peasy. Lemon sneezy. Oh my god. Oh, look at how beautiful you look. Leslie, I'm not even in my dress yet. But you're gonna be very soon. All right, I want to say something to my girls. Nope. You're a softy. But on the inside, you're a straight up boss. April, you're the exact opposite. Y'all inspire me and I love you. And you too, Michelle. Michelle, you were my best friend from childhood until we lost touch because you thought your college boyfriend was into me. He was. I never gave him the time of day. But now, we're rebuilding our friendship. Is this wedding gonna be a test for you? Yes, but the doctors once told you you were never going to walk again, so this should be easy, right? Wow, what a complicated tapestry that is. Bring it in, bring it oh. in. <laughs> Moment over. Leslie April helped Donna with her dress. Hi, I'm Typhoon. Typhoon, I am interested, but now is not the time. Michelle, get the bouquet. You're skating on very thin ice. Donna, even though I've known you for years, I feel like I learned something new about you every day. Just yesterday, I learned that the Pearl Jam album, Vitology, was written about you. You are an amazing, confident woman, and I love you. I know that I can be a lot. And a while back, I was thinking I'd never find someone who loved me for me. But you're patient and kind, and together, we can do anything. You may now kiss the bride. Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Now it's time for a surprise musical guest. 
one of my all-time favorites, me. I had a girl, Donna was her name. Donna! Joe! I hope you saved a slice of that cake for your estranged brother, Lavondrius! <gasps> What's up, girl? Didn't expect to see your baby bro at your wedding, huh? Well, I'm here, despite what you did to me all those years ago. What I did? This is because of what you did. Oh, you must be referring to the microwave incident. Yeah. Don't worry. I brought it back. Oh. Ah! Now, no one gets any popcorn. You said you wanted a little drama. That's why I love you, girl. You came through, like you always do. God, I'm gonna miss you. Your confidence, your joie de vivre, that crazy story about you getting kicked out of In Vogue. Technically, I kicked them out. When do you leave for Seattle? As soon as I get my local real estate license. I'm married to a teacher and I love the man, but I also love diamond watches. Well, whatever happens, I know that you're gonna live an exciting and full life. 3,400 square feet, a beautiful view of Puget Sound. And if you look out this window, you can watch them build the new space haystack around the Space Needle. Wow. I, I can hardly see the needle anymore. I know, it's kind of the point. So, what are we thinking? Wow, it sold in two hours. You cannot beat the Seattle real estate market. I think it's all that coffee and legal marijuana has people wanting to buy houses quickly and irrationally. Mm. But the giant commission check has me thinking about mm -hmm. Donna Joe Adventure Quest. Ooh, where are we going? <laughs> it, well, it can't be last year. I mean, middle Korea is so beautiful. Here's my idea, the Amazon. Oh. Three weeks of the best and most expensive places South America has to offer. I love it. Honestly, with the way work is going, I just need this right now. The school cut the math club. And math. They just don't teach math anymore. Oh, my poor little do-gooder teacher baby. Why don't we cuddle up on the couch, watch a movie, and then maybe later, I'll wear that little red thing. Yes, the red thing. Here, okay, let me get this. Call Satan's niece. Hey, what do you want? And this is me DJing a boat party in Venezuela. Kind of reminded me of the two weeks you and I spent there. Oh, yeah, that happened. Yeah, it did. April! What are you doing here? Babe, have a seat. What's going on? Recently, I was thinking for the millionth time how lucky I am to have found you. So I've decided to treat yourself. You're going to buy me a bunch of leather handbags? Donna is going to take some of the money you usually use on your trips and establish an education program through the foundation I work for. It's called Teach Yourself, and you and the other teachers will get money for after-school programs, for music, art, math, whatever you want. Baby, this is really generous, but I love our trips. And, and, and honestly, it's your money. You should spend it how you want. This is what I want. I've had a lot of adventures. I single-handedly started that door knockers earring trend. I came in ninth in Italy's Got Talent. Yeah. I served on a NASCAR pit crew. <laughs> I want a new kind of adventure, and I want to take it with you. Okay, I feel like it's time for me to get out of here. 